Hello and welcome to Corgi. The Green Home Grant Scheme. What we know so far as of 25th of August 2020. Corgi Services are proud to be a member of the National Home Improvement Council. In July this year, Government announced £2 billion worth of funding to improve our homes. In August, it published details of how the scheme would operate and the purpose of this video is to bring you up to speed with our views on the details of the scheme as we know it at the moment and what we're expecting to hear from government over the next three to four weeks of how this scheme will benefit properties in England. Scheme Overview The new £2 billion Green Homes Grant Scheme will see the Government fund up to two-thirds of the cost of home improvements of over 600,000 homes, supporting over 100,000 jobs in green construction. Consumers in England will be able to claim the vouchers, which are worth up to £5,000 for homeowners. Households on low income can receive vouchers covering 100% of the cost of the improvements, up to a maximum of £10,000. Social and private landlords are also eligible. Eligibility For the general scheme, the following properties are eligible. All owner-occupied homes, including long leaseholders and shared ownership, landlords of private rented sector domestic properties, landlords of social sector domestic properties, including local authority owned homes, park home owners for residential sites, including gypsy and traveler sites, new build domestic properties and non-domestic properties are not eligible under this scheme. Available measures. The available measures are split into primary and secondary categories. Households will need to install at least one of the primary measures below to qualify for funding. Primary measures are insulation, which includes solid wall, cavity wall, underfloor, loft, flat roof, room in roof, and park home. Low carbon heat, air source heat pumps, ground source heat pumps and solar thermal. Available measures continued. Top ups are allowed. For example, additional loft insulation up to the recommended level, solid wall insulation for all other walls where one wall has previously been insulated, but replacements are not included. So long as there are at least one primary measure in the package of works, householders will also be able to install secondary measures. Secondary measures can only be subsidised up to the amount of subsidy provided for primary measures. For example, if a household receives £1,000 for primary measures, they can only receive a maximum of £1,000 towards secondary measures. Available measures continued. Secondary measures are windows and doors, double, triple glazing, where replacing single glazing, secondary gear glazing in addition to single glazing. Upgrading to energy efficient doors, where replacing 
doors installed prior to 2002. Heating controls and insulation, appliance thermostats, hot water tank thermostats, hot water tank insulation, smart heating controls, zone controls, delayed start thermostat, thermostatic radiator valves. For low carbon heating to be installed, households will need to have adequate insulation, for example, wall and loft where applicable. These can be installed as part of a package. They do not have to be already be in situ. Advice and support. Homeowners across England will be able to access advice and support on improving the energy efficiency of their homes from the simple energy advice service. The SEA will suggest appropriate home improvements that homeowners may be able to apply for support in funding. Households will be offered a list of approved Trustmark and MCS registered tradespeople in their local area to carry out the work. Once the works are agreed, vouchers will start to be issued from the end of September so work can commence. For example, if a homeowner of a semi-detached or end terrace installed cavity wall and floor insulation costing around £4,000, the homeowner would pay just £1,320, with the government paying £2,680. Doing so could save the owner over £200 annually on their bills and reduce their carbon footprint by cutting 700 kilos of CO2 a year from their home alone. Our view on the scheme. Primary measures. Insulation, well that's applicable to on and off natural gas grid properties. So universal appeal. However, air source and ground source heat pumps only really make financial sense off the gas grid when you're replacing either oil or liquid petroleum gas boilers. Solar thermal, well generally very low numbers have been installed in England. All the ones you can see around the, in England and the rest of the UK are virtually all photovoltaic. As a consequence, there are very few installers that can actually install this type of solar panel. Our view therefore is it's best to go fabric first, i.e. insulation, as this will probably have the most benefit to the most number of properties in England on the scheme. For secondary measures, well, our concern here is that given that it's likely to be limited depending on the money spent on primary measures, very few measures from the list of secondary ones are likely to be fitted. Vouchers, as we've said, these will be available from the end of September via the Simple Energy Advice Service website, which is currently being developed and will run through to March 2021. There are some different views around the industry, but our understanding is that this does not mean the voucher has to be redeemed by the end of March 2021. Logically, there's probably not going to be enough time to do all the work on 600,000 properties in six months and therefore likely that vouchers will be redeemed after that date for a fixed period of time. The voucher scheme will probably be run by an existing government provider who has previous experience of this type of work. Most likely that the government aspect of the monies will be paid to the installer and not to the householder. Measures. When a householder has all the primary measures, consideration is being given by government to whether the grant can be used to justify buying secondary measures. If the grant is used for the insulation, it is likely that the heat pump will then attract domestic renewable heat incentive. If some of the grant is used to fund the heat pump, then it is likely that this will be taken off the RHI payment. 
installations. Trustmark is a requirement for all installation companies carrying out the work and MCS will be needed in addition for low carbon technologies, in other words, air source heat pumps, ground source heat pumps and solar thermal. Installers will have to comply with elements of PAS 2035, which is a British standard and is the retrofit standard, but Bay's government department responsible for this scheme may reduce some of the requirements to make it more suitable for individual houses. Details of what these requirements will be are likely to be published during August. In summary, well, it's great news that government are investing in greening our homes and take us on the road to net zero carbon. Our understanding that this is the beginning of other measures for the industry likely to be announced at some point in the future, but we're expecting this in 2021. We hope you found this video beneficial. And for more information, please visit our website at www.corgiservices.com.